Okay, to make a trim primitive uh, saw, you uh, you make yourself a large slingshot shaped T branch from a maple tree or whatnot. On the ends, you take your knife and you cut a, a slotted hole on either side. You, you then take your Swedish saw blade. We have a really short one. That we keep it on our pack. And then, if you notice on the Swedish saw blades, there's holes. You take the rope, you sling it through, and rather than cut the rope, we just wound the rope down here, ran off the excess, ran up the other side, and of course did the same on the other side. Notice we didn't put any rope on the open part of the blade part of the, uh, uh, the sharp part of the blade. Anyway, so that's in and it's just secure. And I'll just <clears throat> try to show you while holding uh, the camera in one end. Um, try to do something where the where it's a bit more secure. It's a bit difficult when you're doing it holding a camera, but but essentially what what you've got here is the saw that it's kind of hard when you're holding the camera too. I wish Cedar could have held the camera. Sorry, but um, it's a bit. But essentially, you get the idea. There you are. So, uh, I had to do that one-handed here, but essentially, you just basically rig up a saw like that, and you got yourself a saw. A saw is way easier than an axe, it's lighter. You take it with you, you're done with it. You take it bark apart, or, you know, keep it in your pack. If it's an emergency situation, one of these saw blades weighs next to nothing but it could be unbelievably invaluable when you're in, in dire straits.